Hey guys, happy Friday and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be heading up these stairs and doing a little bit of decorating on my cabinet up there. I'm going to be doing um, Tuscan style up there getting ready for fall. But before we do that, I want to show you a couple things. The first thing I have here is this uh, bag with the flowers in it. Now, uh, I got these flowers at Joann's on Thursday, and when I went in there, the cashier said, oh, with any purchase, you get to pick a bag over there. So I picked this one, and, and you know, it just really coordinates with all the flowers. Now, these are the colors that I'm going to be using on my patio off of the dining room. Now, I talked about those ombre um, peachy um, pumpkins that they had there. Now, I didn't get any because I got some pumpkins that I can paint, but they look like these. So I'm going to be doing some pumpkins that will coordinate with this color and this color. And uh, when I was in there, the flowers were 40% off, and these were $9.99 to begin with. And that, I think, is a great deal at $10 for these. And I got two sets of uh, the peachy color, peachy pink, uh, the blue, and then a cream over here. So the next thing I want to show you is right up here in my foyer that I showed you that I hung that medallion and put the vinyl uh, words up there. So I got the greenery up there now. And we are going to check that out really quick before we head upstairs. Here's how it looks uh, with the greenery that I put up there. I did have to staple it up there. Um, I tried just having it loose, but sometimes it would fall down. So I took the old staple gun out and stapled it up there. Now, I will be decorating it for fall up here. I'm just going to do the corners that come down really far by putting some fall leaves and a few pumpkins in there. And uh, that will coordinate with what I'm going to do down below. So might be able to get that started this week, and we'll see. So now we are going to head over to the stairs and go up and get that cabinet decorated. Okay, here is my cabinet at the top of my stairs. Now there might be a little bit of a glare. I have to have the lights on up here. Uh, it's a little dark here at the top of the stairs right now. since The sun is just coming up. And uh, I'm going to take everything off the top, replace it with uh, Tuscan style is how we're going. It's uh, going to be my pre-fall decor up here that will transition into full fall uh, in the next few weeks. So, I am going to clear everything off of the cabinet, and we will get start to decorate on it. Off, and we're going to start uh, getting the Tuscan decor on here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I have these candlesticks that I got at uh, Goodwill a little while back. I have two of them. I was lucky to find two. You know, most of the time you don't. It too. I love this. Now, uh, let me grab a couple more things over here. Now, I'm just using this box here. It's mainly for height. You're going to see here in just a few seconds here what I'm going to be putting here. Then I have uh, this little, it's a little drawer, but I use it uh, upside down like this to use as height. Now, this one's going to get covered with some greenery here in just a minute. Grab the greenery. Okay, so I like to use these long, dangly things that I uh, get at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this just yet. I'm just going to stick this around the pieces here. Let's see. Okay, now. I'll show you what I'm going to put in this area. Now, here's something I don't normally do. These, I have three of these. These are canisters that go in your kitchen. But, and they have uh, three different roosters on it. And since they have black on them and my cabinet's black, I thought they would look really nice up here. So, like, who says you can't decorate with your kitchen canisters elsewhere in your house? They're not just for flour and sugar. Here's the other one. This is the next size down. 
That's what I'm going to put on this one right here. Like I said, this is all going to get covered up on here, and this one doesn't need to because that's that nice little box. And this is the last one. Let's see. I'm going to stick it like that. So a little bit more. Bring it around a little bit. Let's put some up here. There we go. Okay, so let's uh, get working on the candlesticks here. Now I have grab these right here. I have these candle rings. Now I like to use these in the fall and the winter for Christmas, and uh, I do use them, of course, during the whole year as they are. But what I like to do is embellish them with other pieces. Like in the fall, you'll put I'll put berries, which I will probably be putting some berries on here for this, and uh, and some fall leaves blended in, and then for Christmas I will use like uh, the evergreen picks in it, pine cones, berries. Grab the other one. I mean I can't really remember. I bought these from an online catalog a while back. I'm going to have to move the camera up just a little bit here for you. Hold on. Because I'm going to be putting the candles up here. I like how these dangle. Let's see. Yeah, I think we'll just leave it like that. Now, they came in a set of five, and they all look different. So this one has a lot more uh, that dangles down. Now I'm just going to use these candles here. They have a, a, a darker, like a rust, rusty red and two tones of brown. Since uh, my candlesticks are red and they have brown in them, so we're just going to set that one over here. Okay, let me move this camera a bit. This is, sorry for this guys, this is really tight up here at the top of the stairs with my tripod and I don't want it to get too close to the edge here, the stairs is going to fall down. Okay, so now I have some berry picks that I'm going to go ahead and put in here. I mean, I would normally just leave it as is, but I want a little bit more color in there. Grab these real quick. Okay, so I have, I'm just going to use two on each side. I normally use three when I do stuff like this. I'm just a little bit. And like I said, normally I'd probably put one in here, but for today we're just going to do the two. Other side. Okay. Move the camera just a little bit here. And I thought that would look a little nice to have a little bit more color there. Let's move it back again. Okay, so now I'm just going to fill in down here, this area, and uh, I'm going to start using a little bit of touch of fall. Now I have these uh, leaf picks that I got at Hobby Lobby this year, and these are more of a brownish and tan color. And as you can see, when I start moving things around here, going to start covering up this box. I think I'm going to put one up here. I'm not sure if I get it to stay. We'll see. I have to tweak that a little bit. Okay, the next thing, or actually it's going to be the last thing that I'm going to put up here, is some sunflowers. I mean, what screams uh, Tuscany more than sunflowers? Now, I got these this year at Hobby Lobby. They had different colors. I got a few different colored ones, but I wanted to use the yellow because I really don't have yellow going on here except for in the roosters. We are just going to tuck in some of the sunflowers. Now this sunflower I'm going to put here, so now it covers up that box that that one canister is on. And we're just going to tuck that one up here. 
Okay, so you know, I think that is going to do it. I don't want to do too much. I have to say, Jody, stop. <laughs> I would like to put a few more things in maybe over here, but I think it's really not that big of a, a cabinet, so I don't want to overpower it too much. But I think it looks really nice up here. I, and I love these canisters with the roosters on it. Now, let me show you one thing, because uh, later on I'm going to change this to fall. And now I just have this one picked. Now, you can use whatever you want, because you can even, let's see, which one will look better over here? Let's do this one. So you can add, like I said, some fall leaves and uh, more berries to go around here, which I might, might pull these out. You can put these down here, tuck in. Here. I'm going to add a little bit more fall touches in here. Yeah, you know, anywhere. I'm going to stick a little bit of fall color in. And I'm also going to put a little bit of pumpkins in here, some small pumpkins. Okay, so I'm going to just going to do a little bit of tweaking because I'm having a problem with this one falling. And then we'll have a little video showing uh, what it looks like. And uh, then we'll come back and close it out. So let me uh, get that going for you. This turned out. Um, I just love these canisters. Oh, and I forgot to say earlier that I have the matching salad plates for this. So next week there is going to be two possibly tablescape videos. One of it is going to be on the plates that match this. We're going to do another uh, Tuscan rooster one. And I'm hoping I can get my dining room started. It's going to be a bird theme and that's more of a pre-fall uh, Tablescape plus I'm gonna get the buffet done up with that too. So it's not really all the way fall It's more as I call uh, the pre-fall uh, Late summer because it has birds. It'll be birds and sunflowers mainly so That is what's gonna be in store for next week And I want to wish everybody a very wonderful weekend and I will see you next week. Bye for now <music>